Hey YouTube, this is Binks here with the second half of my binder collection video. In the first video I shared uh, with you some of my uh, more or less favorite cards um, whether or not they are sealed or promos or just interesting cards in this uh, Pokemon train card game series. I tried to share with you guys just some of the cards that I like personally. Um, this second half of the binder actually has uh, essentially a set and that set is the original Black Star promo Wizards of the Coast uh, Pokemon cards. I have all but two of the Black Star promos from the original uh, Wizards of the Coast set. And I will point those out and name them when we get to them. So starting off, we have promo number one. This is the uh, Forest Pikachu. I don't know if that's what they call it, but it's kind of that cool computer-generated CGI of the, of the early 90s, or late 90s, I guess. Very iconic card. Next promo is the, and you'll notice each card has the promo number at the bottom right hand of the cor uh, bottom right corner of the card. So continue on. Electabuzz from the WB Pokemon, the first movie. You got these from watching the movie in theaters. Next card is the Mewtwo promo. And they all have this, the, the, there were four cards that were released for the Pokemon first movie and these are those and they'll have this WB presents Pokemon the first movie stamp at the top there are error variations of these where the stamp was flipped upside down and at the bottom of the card here it's a kind of a rare variant to get the Mewtwo the cool looking art there promo number three next we've got the Pikachu this has been reprinted many times, but this is the first art of it that was released. Moving on, and the fourth card of the, the WB promo set is this Dragonite here. One of my favorite Dragonite arts of all time. I think a lot of you can agree that that's uh, one of the best that have ever been released. That cool cartoony looking art. Continuing on, we have Arcanine. Promo number six, very cool card. Here we've got another one of those uh, <laughs> mid-90s CGI images here. Very, very iconic here. Promo number seven. And promo number eight is the non-hollow version of this Mew card. And you'll see with what 9 is, on the next page, is the holo version. And the holo pattern on these are just amazing. It's got that, that swirl pattern in there. Super cool looking. Promo number 9. Promo number 10 is the Game Boy Meowth. This was, this card was given to you if you purchased the old Pokemon trading card game, Game Boy game, Game Boy Color game, I think that's the name of it. Uh, I bought that and this is how I got this card. So this is my, I didn't actually buy this off eBay, I got it from the Game Boy game itself. Next is the Eevee promo, promo number 11. And if you look just right, you can see the blue... Uh, red and yellow colors in there signifying that Eevee can evolve into Vaporeon, Jolteon, or Flareon which is kind of cool. A lot of people it's kind of hard to see that because the hollow is so overwhelming on this but if you look at it just right you see all three colors it's kind of a cool thing if you didn't know that. Next is a very cool looking Mewtwo promo number 12 
Next we have the Hollow Venusaur promo number 13. This is one of the, it's uh, one of the more expensive. A lot of these promos are really accessible still here on eBay. Uh, the easy to find and uh, Venusaur is just a little bit higher price but still you can find them almost anywhere. So this is a really accessible set for for collectors other than just a few cards that are at the tail end of it and those are actually some of the ones I don't have but I plan on getting uh, in the next next few months next we have the promo Mewtwo this card I believe came with the VHS of the Pokemon first movie I could be wrong on that but that just seems to be how I remember it very cool looking art there and not one released quite like that since next we've got cool Porygon what a name very cool looking card Porygon is pretty cool I guess it's got that nice computer generated 90s magic going on there next we got computer error not much I don't really know how this was released or anything it's got a few different Pokemon on it. Kind of cool there, I guess. Looks like it's got the Xbox One. Kind of thinking that that would. It's like a prophesized release of the Xbox One back in 1990s. <laughs> Just kidding, kidding. Next, we have Dark Persian. If you look just right, you see Giovanni's eyes. Looking at you from the back there. Pretty cool card. Promo number 17. And I also have the original Nintendo Power insert that this card was attached to. This is pretty interesting. Got the Wizards of the Coast, the official Nintendo stamp seal of quality on there. Dark Persian is on the prowl. I like having stuff like this in its original form. It's not the no no HP error, unfortunately. Neither one of these are, but very cool to have both those. It's something I'll, I'll have forever, probably. Continuing on with the Meowth and Persian family is Team Rocket's Meowth. Promo number 18. Sabrina's Abra, next. Promo 19. Psyduck with the big red question mark saying what the heck is going on promo number 20 next we have the Moltres, Articuno and Zapdos promos from the second Pokemon movie that was released in theaters you got these promo cards for going to see that movie the next card doesn't look like it's there, but this is the next one in the sequential number. That's 23. And this is the birthday Pikachu, number 24, the one that I uh, had graded because so I thought it was a good candidate. Ended up getting a 9, which I'm happy about. If you saw my PSA returns video, go ahead and go check that out if you haven't already. Uh, but yeah, that's the birthday Pikachu, the next one in the list. On to the next page. next page, we have the Flying Pikachu, number 25. This is the Pokemon Snap Pikachu, number 26. This is really, really cool. I think this was done when Pokemon Snap for Nintendo 64 came out. Uh, there was a contest for the best images taken from Pokemon Snap, like the best pictures you took. And those would be, the winners would have their image put onto a card. I think that's how that, that came about. Pretty interesting. Wish they'd do more stuff like that with the newer generation stuff. Next, this is, I think, commonly regard, regarded as the Bumblebee Pikachu. Not really anything special about it. And it's kind of an interesting card, 27. And next, the next 
iconic card is the Surfing Pikachu. Everyone's probably seen this, as well as the Flying Pikachu. There are a lot of variants of both these cards in Japanese for uh, airlines and different things like that. If you look look into it, there's quite a few variations of these these two cards. Pretty cool. And they had they both had re-releases as secret rare cards in the new Pokemon Evolution set that was released in 2016. Next, we have the Muriel. Number 29, Togepi, number 30, Cleffa, number 31, and Smeargle, number 32. These were when the Neo sets started to be released. These were promotional cards for, for the Neo sets, as you can see. Continuing on, we have Caesar, Scissor, whatever. Scissor. Number 33. We have the reverse holographic Entei. I think everyone and their brother, sister, whoever has this card. Beautiful card. And I think this was released for one of the other Pokemon movies because they just kept turning them out back in the late 90s, mid 2000s. And these were just some of the promos that they gave out for those movies. Next on the list is the Reverse Holographic Pichu. Awesome hollow pattern there. I think this is when they were first experimenting with the Reverse Hollows. I showed you some of the, the best hollows that were in the first part of my uh, binder collection. If you want to go back and check those out. This is number 35. Igly Buff, number 36. Hit him on top, break dancing here on number 37. Unknown J. Yeah, J. Promo number 38. And we have Mistrevious coming in at number 39. The next two cards are the two that I do not have. Uh, simply because they are just pretty pretty expensive currently uh, ranging from 150 plus dollars for each card that would be the New York City Pokemon Center and the Pokemon Center and oh man what's that other one called uh, either I, I can't the name escapes both exclusive cards that were released for the Pokemon Center that opened in New York so um, they fetch a pretty penny online uh, but because I want to have the full Black Star promo set I uh, will be buying those like I said within the next few months next we have Pokemon Tower number 42 the champ with the um, I don't uh, the name is uh, the artwork illustrator is escaping me right now it says Komayama but I think these are the oh boy I'm drawing a blank right now but this is a reprint from the vending series the Japanese vending series set that was released a very iconic set I'll probably, I have a couple of those cards I'll probably make a video about to uh, flush that out a little bit more and give you some more details in the future. But that's kind of the abstract art on this card. That's, this is the only one that they actually reprinted too for the English side. So it's kind of interesting that they chose Machamp. But uh, either way, awesome looking card. Promo number 43. Next we've got Magmar. Sorry about that glare. Promo 44. Getting to the end here, guys. So we've got Scyther. Promo number 45. Electabuzz. It's in there uh, shooting off some sparks. Looking kind of strange. With the uh, kind of abstract art style in there. 
I like that though. Promo 46. I like the unique, the unique artwork on some of these cards. Here's the Lilypad Mew promo 47. This has been reprinted plenty of times. It was reprinted. Well, this was the promo itself was a reprint from the Japanese Coral Coral Comics re, uh, release, and then it was also reprinted as a secret rare, I believe, secret rare in the uh, Evolution set in 2016. Next, we've got the very cool looking Articuno here sitting on the mountaintop. Promo 48. And to wrap it up, we've got the very skinny Snorlax, <laughs> promo 49. This is always such a cool card. I love this artwork. I'd like to get one of these graded. And the tail end of the Wizards of the Coast era were, of course, the e-reader sets. And this was also coincided with the Pokemon Forever movie release. So we've got Selby there, promo number 50. And continuing on with the e-reader, we've got Rapidash, promo 51. Hello, promo 52. And there were also variants of this for the uh, New York City Pokemon Center as well. I do not have those two, but I, I have these. These were from a magazine, I believe. The name of the magazine escapes me now. But um, I can look into that and post some info in the description below. And this card I actually just purchased and is I am awaiting it to get here in the mail. And that would be the e-reader Suicune card. Uh, I think it says Pokemon Forever on it. It was the other is the matching card to the Celebi. I could be wrong, but. It, Either way, it's an e-reader style card, and it's Suicune. I will uh, show that off in possibly a future video. And then the final card is the, in the technical list, is the Ancient Mew. This was also given away in the first Pokemon movie. Alright, well that wraps up the Black Star promo list. Uh, of course, I'm missing three cards. One will be here, so technically I'm only missing two. Um, like I said, this is a very ac uh, accessible set for a lot of people to get. Nowadays, you can still get it. It's not doesn't cost as much as a first edition base set. So if you're uh, if you're an old collector getting back into the hobby, it's not too hard to find those cards, and it won't break the bank either. Um, we can finish out this video by looking at a couple extra cards I have in here. The base set Charmander Toys R Us Hollow reprint promo. This I love this. This is so cool that they did that. Of course, one of the I Choose You Pikachu's Ashes Pikachu from that pretty terrible movie that they had. <laughs> My kids love it, so that that's okay. That's what matters. I want to get them into Pokemon too, but. This is sealed up. I need to get the rest of them. This is the only one I have. These are just some random, random cards here. We got a Japanese Lieutenant Surge uh, Raichu. The Japanese version of the Cool Porygon. Dark Blastoise. A Shining Ho. -Oh. I think you actually saw that. I moved it since I made the first video of the Binder Collection. We got Lugia from Neo Revelation. Hello from Near Revelation. The uh, this beautiful hollow hello from Neo Revelation as well. It's one of my favorite hello artworks ever. Uh, Jump Luff, Neo Rev. And to wrap it up we have some rares, just some random rares. Um I'm just trying to Finish out my Neo Destiny, Neo Genesis, Neo Revelation. Not really the Neo Discovery, but pretty much all the Neo sets I'm trying to, f to finish out. Uh, these are some of the cards I've picked up that I haven't put with my set yet. So, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and um, I hope you learned something about the uh, Black Star promos. Um, I didn't know a lot about their releases, but... 
uh, maybe maybe this will get you into maybe wanting to start your your own collection um, maybe you get you back into the hobby maybe you didn't know about how many black star promos there were um, back in the Wizards of the Coast era and if this video made you want to get back into it at all please consider liking and subscribing and uh, maybe even watching one of my old videos uh, if you enjoyed leave a leave a comment tell me tell me what you liked uh, what you didn't like what I could improve on uh, I would really appreciate any constructive criticism um, and until next time guys um, everyone have a good one take it easy bye bye